guys, Lizbeth here, coming back with the 10 Minute Tidy Part 3. I'm kind of on a roll, getting excited, going through the decor closet. I did no homework because I'm trying to get through the closet. Just one little quick, I did the uh, sugar smoked look from the um, Chocolate Bonbon palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette. I don't know if you can see it very well, but tell me what you think. I think I'm liking it. Uh, you know, last year was all crazy colors and blues and everything, but I think I kind of like the more silver gray instead of like, you know, blue. Okay. Oh my gosh. 40 seconds. Let's get in the closet. We stopped here. We were talking about candles and stuff and candlesticks. It'll probably be uh, moved once I find room downstairs. I am just coming to the realization that I'll probably have to go through, after I go through the house, I might have to go through one other time. Uh, after I free up spaces in other areas, I wasn't happy about uh, coming to that realization, but I did. This is a pig I did probably two, maybe even three decades ago. It used to not be popular like to go to places and paint your own pottery. It was like a very rare thing back when I did this. I absolutely love my little piggy. We had what's called a big boy. We had a big boy bank that is in my husband's, uh, where we're using a china cabinet in the basement as my husband's memorabilia cabinet. And I wanna take the money out of the big boy, which is much bigger than this, and wrap it up and you know turn it into the bank. And just keep this little thing for change. I usually use my credit card. I pay off my credit card every month. So I don't usually do a lot of cash transactions. And But when I do get change, which I do every now and then, you'll find places that uh, don't take credit cards or you go to a fair or something. And I'm gonna put that in a drawer in my dresser downstairs and use it as a change thing. Cause I mean, you wouldn't believe how many years, well, 20 some years that's been sitting in a closet. You know, if it passed the KonMari, does it spark joy test, but then you're never really gonna set it out. You know, really, what's the point? These next things, oh my gosh, these are so cute. I actually paid $5 a piece for them at Salvation Army, which for me to pay that much at like a resale shop is crazy. But I actually bought eight of these. I had a dinner, a themed dinner, where I made, you know, fancy invitations. I used my wax seal on the back. It was like, you know, to the king and queen of Smithland, come, you know, to a royal feast at, you know, in my kingdom, B-Y-O-T, bring your own tiara. So I wore my, a cocktail dress, uh, gloves that went to my elbow, black gloves that went to my elbow and my wedding tiara and my friends, you know, wore their wedding tiaras and stuff. And the guys picked up, you know, crowns from wherever. It was a blast. I do have a lot of good memories. They spark joy, but I used them as table decorations and favors, so then people took them home. And I've had no use for them since then. So they do spark joy, but honestly, I have my prince. I don't need to kiss any more frogs. Why don't I bless somebody else with that who either collects frogs or enjoys them and would actually display them instead of sitting them in the closet. These cute little things my friends made. Uh, I think I said in the last video, my house used to be green and cream. Uh, she made the pottery and painted and stuff. I am going to keep them uh, for Barbie chairs. Now my granddaughter's a little too young. I do think that it's going to, she's five. I do think she needs to be at least seven. And I have a one-year-old grandson and I need, he needs to be at least three, at least past the point where you're gonna put stuff in your mouth. Now these are called marblies. I bought those, I've got a little couple. I don't know if that's part of the decoration of the kitty, those black spots or whether the white just came off. But, you know, these would be cute little decorations for, you know, a Barbie house. So I am going to keep them. I do love them. They spark joy. I do realize it'll be like a couple years before they actually get use, but I am okay with that. 
And then if we try to use it for Barbie furniture and it doesn't work out, then I will pass it on. But I think it's worth keeping. I really enjoy those. Inside this basket, which may not always live here, but is for a while, is more pottery stuff stuff that I painted. It's, they're actually Loch Ness Monsters. I put them out every Halloween on my mantle. They've got the face, two humps, and a tail. I painted one green with the yellow detail and the other one yellow with the green detail. Um, like I said, that's not the coloring in this house, but I do think I am going to keep these. I absolutely love them. Now maybe well, I have a decorations closet, but the shelf is so high and that's so breakable that if they fall off, I would just hate for that to break. So I think I'm going to leave them in this closet, at least for now. These are candlesticks. I've got candlesticks like crazy, votive holders, and this is after cutting down. I don't see me using these. I might at Christmas time, though I kind of wanted to go to the, it's not like gold, but kind of wanted to go to white, silver kind of Christmas decor. If I don't use them at Christmas, which is the only time I probably would, I am going to put those in my husband's um, cabinet because they have come down through his family, so I don't want to get rid of those. Those are something that would be passed on the brass candlesticks. These little tchotchke dishes I picked up for 50 cents. I think it was 50 cents for both of them. At a Goodwill when we went to stay at um, Beaumont Inn. I can't remember if it's Harrodsburg or where in Kentucky. But I thought they were so cute. You can see a lot of my decor, you know, matched my old house. I don't don't know what I would use those. You know what? I wonder if they would work as a holder for those packets. Or whether, you know, that would just be crazy. It would be too much. You know, if it doesn't really work, I don't want to, you know, just do it to do it and then have a mess in my drawer. Hmm. Uh. Stuck shove back here. Maybe I'll move the tongs over. Move that over. Shove that back a little bit. Okay. But is that going to stay up with these things? I mean, I'm not like then going to seem decorative, but if I don't have to buy any holders for that drawer, I just open them back and forth to see if the sugar packets fall out. You know what? At least for now, I think that's where I'm going to use them because I have so much stuff that I want to purchase in terms of like furniture and maybe some different colored linens for my table that I don't want to spend money, even at the dollar store, to buy to buy things. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use that there. You know, and then I don't have to buy anything to put that, you know, to put those sugar packets in. I'm going to move these over. These, I'm actually right away going to find a place for downstairs. These came from Aruba. Aruba, I believe, is a Dutch, you know, or originally a Dutch. I don't know if it's still a Dutch um, colony in the Bahamas. So that's why it kind of gives you the Dutch feel. I have salt and pepper shakers that match these. And my husband has some blue and white. Or my husband, I guess we both have. But it came with a marriage silverware with white handles with blue decorations. So we do use those sometimes. So I'm going to take that downstairs right away because let's face it, if it's up here, am I going to bother to come up the stairs when I use that set? No. I'll tell you, stairs makes a big difference. These two candle sets I got for the wedding. Um, 
I like them. I think I'm going to keep both the sets, but I'm going to see if I actually use them enough to keep both sets. Like I said, I'm way cut down. Um, if you've followed any of my declutter videos in the past, I've way cut down on my candle holders. These are votive holders. I've got to see if I actually use them enough to warrant keeping four of them. This I gotta find a use for. I think I've displayed it for a couple years. I got that in my teens when they had like the princess house crystal. There's that, and I have a little a little baby vase that goes with it. You know, it's either display and use or get rid of. If I've had it in my teens and I've only displayed it like a year or so, and I'm in my fifties now, guys. How ridiculous. Either use it or bless somebody else with it. That's my philosophy. These. Um, now the other ornament, because it's glass, I'm not just going to throw that in with the Christmas. These I am going to take down and just throw on top of the Christmas boxes. Um, my sister-in-law is... Uh, we went to Gatlinburg one year and she's making chili and it had attracted all the ladybugs and they were like all in the wall of the kitchen of the um, cabin we had rented and stuff. So ever since then, I get some sort of ladybug themed thing. And these were actually like egg candy containers. And I put candy in them and then I hide them through her house when we're over for Christmas. So then after Christmas, you know, when she's putting stuff away, like I'll hide one in a tree, I'll hide one in like a, you know, a glass container she has sitting out. So, oh, that doesn't go to cherry. But because it's not breakable, I will go down and throw that with the Christmas stuff. My gosh, I can't believe it's already been past 10 minutes and I'm not even finished with that shelf. Uh, I hope you guys stick with me for the long haul because I just, I'm starting with my decor shelf and that makes a lot of decision making. Talk with you guys later. Bye.